Welcome to Mike's Yoga Channel and welcome to this everyday full body yoga flow. When you're ready, roll your mat, grab some water, and let's get started. Okay everyone, so let's begin coming into an extended child's pose. So let's bring our knees as wide as the mat, letting the big toes touch behind you. And then from here, start to walk your hands along in front of you, letting your forehead rest in the mat. In this pose, we're really breathing into the back body as well as the hips. And on your next exhale, let's shift forward. We'll come into a high cobra. So stacking the hands right underneath the shoulders, extending the legs along behind you. From here, just pushing yourself up. Keep your core slightly engaged, really opening up your heart, opening up your chest. And on your next exhale, shift it back. We'll come into all fours. So let's keep the hands stacked right underneath the shoulders, keeping the fingers spread wide. Almost pretend like you're opening up a pickle jar with your hands. So you should feel a nice engagement up in the tricep area. And let's stack the knees right underneath the hips. Tops of the feet are pushing into the mat. Once we have this nice foundation, let's do a few rounds of cat-cow. So on your next inhale, drop the belly, open the chest. Exhale, rounding the spine. Inhale, drop the belly, open the chest. Exhale, round. Do a couple more moving with your breath. Awesome job. From here, let's make our way up into a downward facing dog. So in this down dog, again, let's keep our fingers spread wide. Hands are actively pushing into the mat. And then feel free to pedal out your feet here as well. Really breathing into the back of the legs. And then when you're ready, let's find a nice neutral position. We'll hang out here for a couple breaths. And now from here, just like we did in Cat Cow, we're going to do some movements here. So on your next inhale, let's shift into a high plank. Exhale, come back to downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Great job, you guys. From here, let's heel toe, heel toe. Walk our feet up right behind our hands. We'll take a forward fold here. So bend the knees as much as you like. And then when you're ready on your next inhale, slowly start to roll it up. Stacking the spine one vertebrae at a time. The chin is the last to lift. Coming into a mountain pose. Awesome job. From this mountain pose, let's come to the top of the mat if you're not there already. And then from here on your next inhale, let's bring our hands up towards the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back to plank. From here, lower knees, chest, chin to the mat. 
Elbows hug in, hips stay elevated. Inhale, baby cobra, keeping the gaze down. No wrinkles in the neck here. And then exhale, come back to downward facing dog. Breathe. Now from here on your next inhale, let's lift that right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, bend the right knee, step the right foot up in between the hands, lower the left knee down, left shoelace is down. On your next inhale, let's rise up, coming into a low lunge. So in this low lunge, let's keep this right knee over right ankle. Let's keep these hips in one line. So for some of us, we may have to draw that right hip back just a little bit and bring this left hip forward. Core is slightly engaged. And on your next exhale, let's plant the hands, step it back to downward facing dog. When you're ready, we'll take that over to the other side. So inhale, lift that left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, bend the left knee. Step the left foot up in between the hands. Lower the right knee down, right shoelace is down. Inhale, rise up, low lunge. Again, let's keep this left knee over left ankle, hips in one line. So for some of us on this side, we may have to draw that left hip back just a little bit and bring that right hip forward. Core is slightly engaged. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back to downward facing dog. From here again, let's heel toe, heel toe, walk our feet up right behind our hands. Take a breath here. And then on your next inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to your hearts by your side. It's awesome job, you guys. Again, let's come to the top of the mat if you're not there already. On your next inhale, lift the hands up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back to plank, lower knees, chest, chin to the mat. Elbows hug in, hips stay elevated. Inhale, baby cobra. Gaze down, exhale. Downward facing dog. And from here on your next inhale, lift that right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, bend the right knee. Step the right foot up in between the hands. This time from here, let's pivot that left foot 90 degrees. Air guitar this left arm up and we'll find a warrior two pose. So in this warrior two, let's keep this right heel in line with the left arch, arms to a T. Again, core is slightly engaged. On your next inhale, reach back, peaceful warrior. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down, step it back to downward facing dog. And we'll take that over to the other side. When you're ready, inhale, lift that left leg up. Exhale, bend the left knee. Step the left foot up in between the hands. Pivot that right foot 90 degrees. Air guitar this right arm up, warrior two. Again, let's keep this left heel in line with the right arch, arms to a T. Inhale, reach that left arm back, peaceful warrior. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down, step it back, downward facing dog, breathe. Great job, you guys. 
From here, let's again heel toe, heel toe, walk our feet behind our hands. Take a breath here. On your next inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, hands through heart by your sides. Awesome job, you guys. From here, let's bring our feet as wide as the mat. Let's bring our hands back together at our heart. From here, sink the hips all the way down. We'll come into a yogi squat. So try and keep the back as straight as you can here. And on your next exhale, let's mindfully release. We'll come on down to our bums. And once we get down here, let's extend our legs out long in front of us, keeping the legs together, keeping both feet flexed towards you. We'll take a seated forward fold. So on your next inhale, lift the hands up. Exhale, melt it forward, grabbing onto the toes or the feet if you can. If you can, that's okay. You just let your hands rest where they naturally fall. And on your next exhale, mindfully release, roll it back up. From here, let's make our way onto our backs. Take your time getting there. And then once we do get here, let's hug our knees into our chest. Give yourself a nice big hug. Feel free to rock side to side. Now from here, we'll come into a reclined butterfly. So let's bring the soles of the feet together, letting the knees open up wide, letting the hips open up naturally. A couple options with your hands. You can let them rest by your sides, or you can have one hand on your heart, the other on your belly. I encourage you to close your eyes here as well. Just come back to your breath. On your next exhale, let's extend both legs out long, extend both arms out long, taking up some space, coming into final Shavasana, letting the mind and the body reap all the benefits from today's practice. So I encourage you to stay here for as long as you like, or if you're ready to go, we can rock up coming into a seated position of your choice. Wherever you are, let's bring our hands together at our heart. Thank you all so much for sharing your time and your energy with me today. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe. From here, let's bring our hands up to our third eye. The light in me honors the light in all of you. Thank you so much. Namaste.